Here is a thinking and application problem, question number 5. It says point P, 10 comma of K, lies on the terminal arm with principal angle alpha. If sine alpha equals to minus 0 0.866, determine a possible value of K. Now, in this case, we know sine alpha is equals to negative value, right? 0 0.866. Now, if sine is negative, then in which quadrant do you expect the terminal arm to be? So, there are two possibilities. One of the possibility is that negative value sine could be here or in this quadrant. Now, the point P is 10K, right? So, it is 10, that means let's say 10 is here. That means we are talking about quadrant 4, correct? So, we are in quadrant 4. So, in quadrant 4, K has to be negative and x is positive, right? So that is one thing which can give us the value, right? Now, now sine is negative, that means now we know we are, we are in quadrant 4. So let's try to now figure out what is the value of k. Now in this case, let me arbitrarily make a triangle or a terminal arm. So let's say we don't know the value of k. Let's say we this is the point, right? So in this case, what we know really is that x value is 10. That means this side is 10. And k, now we also know that sine alpha is equals to, let's say the coordinate is 10k, right? that is the quadrant. Since 10k is the quadrant, what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is going to be equals to 10 square plus k square square root, right? So that is going to be the hypotenuse. Is that okay? Therefore, sine alpha is going to be from here, opposite side, which is k for us, right? k divided by square root of 10 square plus k square. That is what sine alpha is in this particular position where we are considering alpha to be the acute angle, right? Now the value of this is given to us is minus 0 0.866, correct? So now minus decides that we are in this quadrant. Now we'll consider alpha as a positive value and figure out what this answer is. So we'll cross multiply and then square. So what we can do is we can do k times, now we'll do 0 0.866 times square root of 10 square plus k square square root. Now in this case, we will square both sides, right? So we'll square this and we will square this to solve for k. And assume that we're talking about a similar triangle here in quadrant 1 with a positive value. Correct? You see that? I made this positive. So we are talking about k dash now. Okay. Now let's figure it out. So we get k square equals to, let me write 0 0.866 square is what? So at present I'll write 0 0.866 square times 100 plus k square. Okay. Now we'll expand and bring the terms together. So we get a k square equals to 0 0.866 square, which is 0 0.7499. So I can write this as 0 0.75 times 100 plus k square, right? That's what I get. Now what we will do is we'll kind of simplify it, bring all the terms together and find the value of k. So we have k square here, so let k square and 0 0.75 times k square bringing to the left side give us 0 0.75 k square with a minus sign equals to 100 times 0 0.75 is 75. Correct? Now, k square minus 0 0.75 k square is 0 0.25 k square. Is it okay? That is equals to 75. So, k should be equals to 75 divided by 0 0.25 and then square root of the same. Is that okay? So let's use calculator and find this answer. We get 75 divided by 0.25. That gives us a value of 300, right? So we get a value of 300. 
and square root of 300, let's do square root of 300 to get the answer, 10 square root 3 is the answer, or 10 square root 3 is a good answer. We can write 10 square root 3, right? So that becomes the value of k when we are considering this to be positive. We know we are in quadrant 4, and in quadrant 4, k has to be negative. Well, I could have written plus minus here and got negative also, but the idea is we first make a triangle in quadrant 1, and then we get all other values, correct? So we get k as, since we are in quadrant 4, so therefore, for sine alpha equals to negative of 0 0.866, the point P should be 10 comma minus 10 square root 3, right? So that is, that is the answer. So K basically is equals to, this is K dash for us. K is basically 10 square root minus 3 with a negative sign, correct? So that's how you get it. Now let's look into this solution once again. Now the negative sign tells us that we are in quadrant 4. Now we really solve, so in quadrant 4, that is the ang angle, right? So principal angle we are working with this. Now what we will do is, we'll work with the acute angle and we made an equivalent triangle here in quadrant 1. Now in quadrant 1, the value will be positive. This is equivalent triangle here, right? So we'll try to figure out the value of k dash. So for that, we made this positive, and then we squared both sides. With negative, when you square, you're actually incorporating an error. So it's better to understand that you are working in a triangle, which is in quadrant 1, and all the values are positive, right? Then you solve for k, and you get a positive value. But remember, this was a mirror image of our real position vector p, right? Now, to get the value of p, we need to take negative value since it is in quadrant 4, correct? So that's how we get our answer. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.